Wesley, what are you doing? Eating my lunch. <laughs> what is this? A pinball machine. Thank you. Hey, what did you do that for? I almost had 10,000. Wesley, what have you done? Two guys came and said, hey, kid, want a pinball machine? I said, OK. Here it is. I see. Anything like the time two men came with a big truck and asked us where we wanted the pool? I just called for an estimate. Anyway, this is different. I didn't call anybody. The two guys just brought it. Perhaps they were the pinball fairies. <laughs> One of them had an earring. Kids, I'm afraid this neighborhood just isn't zoned for horses. Well, we can keep them in the stable or in the basement. Yeah, and I'll feed them and groom them. And I'll exercise them every day. We'll enter them in shows and maybe win lots of prizes. Kids, a horse is absolutely out of the question. So how about a stereo TV? I'll hook it up. Ooh, nice try, guys. Where did that come from? I'm trying to find that out myself. All right, a pinball machine. Wesley, have you been shopping by phone again? I don't do that anymore. Kids! Do you guys know anything about this? I was certain it was one of the children. Oh, boy! There it is! It's my fire bomb! <laughs> I was right. Streaks on the china never mattered before. Who cared when you drop kicked your jacket as you came through the door? No one glared, but sometimes things get turned around and no one spared. All hands look out below. There's a change in the status quo. Gonna need all the help that we can get. Life is more than mere survival We just might live the good life yet George, you bought this? Yeah, it's a firebomb I used to play it when I was a kid, it's a classic Practically an antique <laughs> Where'd you get it? Some place downtown that restores them Got a pretty good deal all right, got me a bonus ball. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, if we could just end world hunger. <laughs> what happened? I think a bonus ball dropped down the small abyss here at the bottom. I know that. Awfully quiet now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the game's over. All right, everybody, let's get ready for dinner. Hey, come on, don't you want to turn? No, George, it's your toy. You bought it. <laughs> oh, oh. It's like old dads in the doghouse. Oh! <laughs> Come on, George. Upstairs. Obedience training? <laughs> hey, come on, I'll play again. Sure, but I'm gonna go first. Children, I think the time would be better served if you'd help Mr. Belvedere get dinner. It would? It just set the table. Okay. Come on. Maybe we'll win a bonus fork. <laughs> well, I think somebody owes somebody else an apology. You are absolutely right, Wesley. I was wrong to assume that you were responsible for this. You have every reason to be angry. I'm not angry. I'm mostly hurt. <laughs> Wesley, I sincerely apologize. Okay. I just hope that next time when I say something, you'll believe it. Hmm? Like if a candy gram comes tomorrow, I didn't do it. <laughs> Come on, Heather, quit hogging the machine. She's got more points than the rest of us put together. It's okay, kitten. Keep going. You're doing great. If she gets another bonus ball, we'll pull the plug. I feel like I'm studying in a gas station. Pardon me? Oh, you know the sound of the pumps? You know the way they go ding, ding, ding? Remember? <laughs> well, I mean, they don't do that now, but they used to 20 years ago. They used to go ding, ding, ding. <laughs> well, I'm sure 20 years ago I would have been amused. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Owens. It's getting to me, too. It stopped. Perhaps they broke it. <laughs> Wesley's very good at that. I'll be right back. I'll be right behind you. 
Hey, Dad, watch it. You're gonna break it. Hey, don't worry. It's called finesse. I think it's called tilt, Dad. Hey, my turn. Yeah. Okay, bedtime, everybody. Ah, uh, nuts. What's the matter? Is this thing bothering you? Oh, just an itsy bit. Okay, kids, that's enough fun for tonight. <laughs> yeah, upstairs, finish your homework, brush your teeth, and into bed, all of you. Mom, I'm 17. So get a job. <laughs> Do I have to go, too? No, George. <laughs> hey, look, I know I should have told you before I bought it. It's just I saw it, and that was it. I had to have it. Anyway, you got to admit, it looks pretty sharp. Yeah, it's nice, George. I just don't think it belongs in the living room. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps a pool table here, a cigarette machine by the fireplace. We'd have quite a motif. Sort of early USO. All right, all right. I'll stick it someplace else. Thank you. I guess we won't be needing this. Hey, Mr. Belvedere, I'm back. Oh, I thought you were over playing with Henry Huffnagel. I was, but his mother sent me home. She said I was a bad influence. Bad influence? Isn't Henry the one who just came home from reform school? Yeah, why? No reason. <laughs> so, I see we've parked ourselves in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going back in the house. But you haven't finished the game yet. I know when I'm beat. Anyway, I'm tired of the stupid thing. So soon? I guess it's just not like when I was a kid. You know, cutting classes, hanging around that sleazy arcade on First Street, playing till midnight, and then sneaking in my window so my old man wouldn't catch me. <laughs> well, I guess you can't go home again. What, you hear something from immigration? <laughs> I don't see what all the fuss is about. I thought you said such amusements are a waste of time and energy. We must do something about your memory. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't playing. I was just curious to see how the machine operates. Yeah, pretty tough, huh? I mean, that's why Dad gave up. He said nobody could get the 100,000 it takes to be king of the fire gods. Hmm. Wesley, I don't know many people besides your father who would want to be king of the fire gods. <laughs> but I'm sure it can be done. Oh, yeah? From what I've discovered, it's simply a matter of Understanding the dynamics of the machine, controlling the ball, and yourself. Discipline. So go ahead. Prove it. Wesley, I'm not interested in proving anything. That's okay. Hmm. Dad says if he can't get 100,000, nobody can. <laughs> Actually, it may take a game or two to get the hang of it. There goes. Hey, you're doing pretty good, Mr. Balvadier. Oh, just beginner's luck. So, uh, you gonna make my lunch pretty soon? Uh, why don't you make it for yourself? So, uh, can I make a potato chip and jelly sandwich? I don't see why not. Great! All right! Got me a bonus ball! 